Let's talk about Cushing syndrome versus Addison's disease. When it comes to these diseases, it's all about cortisol. Cushing's disease is an overproduction of cortisol, where Addison's disease is an insufficient amount of cortisol. You can remember this by the memory trick. Cushing's, they have a cushion of cortisol. They have way too much. And Addison's, we need to add some because they don't have enough. When talking about signs and symptoms of Cushing's, this extra cortisol leads to fat redistribution. So we may see a moon face, a buffalo hump, chuncal obesity, purple striae or stretch marks, and hirsutism, which is excessive hair growth in a male-like pattern, again, due to that excess cortisol. Now, when talking about the signs and symptoms of Addison's disease, we have low cortisol. This means the body lacks energy and salt balance. So we may see fatigue, salt cravings, muscle weakness, and low blood pressure. Now let's talk about vital signs and lab values. An easy way to remember this is Cushing's is pushing levels up and Addison's thinking arrows down. So blood pressure, fluid volume, weight, blood sugar, sodium, and water are all up in Cushing's. And blood pressure, fluid volume, weight, blood sugar, sodium, and water are all down in Addison's disease. Now, the one exception to this memory trick is potassium. We see the opposite. We see low levels of potassium in Cushing's, and we see high levels of potassium in Addison's disease. All right, that's all for Cushing's versus Addison's disease. You can find more comparison charts like this in the complete nursing school bundle. We now have the 2026 edition, which has new topics, new subjects, and of course, new memory tricks. Happy studying, future nurses.